Hey world, what's up? I'm just sitting in my car. I have about 10 minutes to kill. Uh, I don't know if you can hear the rain on the roof of my car. Listen. I love rain. It's so relaxing. Anyway, I just thought I would uh, go off on a little rant here and talk about how we are not allowed to hate dogs. I just want to share something that happened to me recently. I'm sure many of you will relate to this. I posted something anti-dog on my social media and someone I, I've known for most of my life, we go way back to elementary school, uh, she commented on it and was telling me about how wonderful her dogs are and how much she loves dogs and she posted a picture of her two greasy, stinking mutts, right? and. I was offended by this because she knows how much I hate dogs. I'm very vocal about it. And why on earth would someone post a picture of their dogs uh, on someone's social media when they know that that person hates dogs? It's as crazy as me posting a picture of a tarantula on a comment she made about how much she hates spiders. What kind of fucking asshole does that? Or let's say a friend of yours hates snakes and they are talking about how much they hate snakes and then you go post a picture of a snake in that thread. You would be a complete fucking asshole if you would do that because that would be so insensitive. You know that seeing the image of the snake is going to cause them to have a negative reaction, a very strong and negative reaction, and yet you post it anyway? Why? If she hated octopuses for whatever reason, I would never, ever consider posting a picture of an octopus on her social media or on a comment she made about how much she hates octopuses. Doing so would make me a complete fucking asshole. You know, uh, I, I wouldn't do that because I have like respect for her feelings and I would know I'm not stupid. Like I realized that posting a picture of an animal she hates would elicit a negative response in her. Why would I do that to my friend, you know, or to anyone? What are these people thinking? Do they think that if you post a picture of a snake, then all of a sudden that person who hates snakes is going to change their mind and go like, oh yeah, actually you're right. You know what? Snakes are they're actually quite beautiful animals and I see your point. No, you don't do that. That's an asshole move. You respect their feelings and you don't post a picture of something that they're going to be repulsed by and have like this negative reaction. I just don't get it. You see this a lot in like reports of dog attacks people in the comments always posting pictures of their dogs with their tongues hanging out looking so sweet oh look at my vicious dog as if a dog that attacks someone looks vicious every second of its life of course in the hours before the attack it was playing with its owner and having its tongue hang out like it looked like it was smiling dogs don't smile but these people think they smile and whatever looking harmless dogs that attack don't look mean or vicious all the time even while they are attacking just go on to um youtube and type in pitbull attack in all of these pitbull attacks the dogs are wagging their tails they have their tongues hanging out it's it looks like they're playing they're having a great time they're full of joy as they are ripping people apart i don't know what people are thinking honestly these people are brain dead but anyway i just wanted to talk about how it is okay to hate dogs. Look, I've talked about this before, I'm sure, but you're allowed to hate any other animal on earth, provided you don't go out and harm the animals, right? It's okay to say that you hate bats or you hate moose or armadillos or whatever. You can say that you hate any other animal and no one will care. But the moment you say you hate dogs... Uh, people lose their minds. And this is crazy because other animals, there are so many other animals that are not harming humans, like, I don't know, chameleons. I've never heard of a chameleon mauling a person or killing a child. But if you say you hate chameleons and you go off about how their little googly eyes gross you out or the way they change colors is just revolting to you or whatever shit, you, you know, no one will care. If someone says they hate uh, sea cucumbers, it's like, all right, who gives a shit? 
these animals are not digging under fences to chase children down the street and attack them. These animals are not producing noise pollution that is driving people to the point of contemplating suicide. They are not, you know, all all of my videos that I've made about the, uh, there's just so much, you know, all of the negatives about dogs. There are so many and they are terrorizing our community. So when you start talking about these negative things, people think you're a monster. So anyways, when this uh, old friend of mine posted the picture of her mutts, I was like, I asked her, I said, why did you post these pictures? Or this, I think there were two pictures. Like, why would you do this? I told her, I find it very offensive. And uh, I, I don't understand what's your motivation. She wrote back saying, what happened to you? You know, you used to be odd in school, but you were never this cruel. Blah, blah, blah. Calling me cruel because I'm asking her not to post a picture or I'm letting her know that I'm offended by her posting a picture of an animal that she knows I loathe and am very repulsed by. Uh, that does not make me cruel, okay? That makes you an insensitive asshole. Uh, so I think that's about all I had to say. I really got to get going. Thank you for listening. And uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Have a great day.